Hi everyone, welcome back to Money Monday. So this video is all about how to cre create or hustle a little bit of cash savings really easily, especially when you're on a really tight budget. But before I launch into this video, I've got two things to check. Number one, have you subscribed to my channel? If not, make sure you do so right now because I'm always publishing amazing content that's gonna make you make much healthier and better decisions around your money. And it's going to show you how capable you are of creating financial harmony and independence in your life. So if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so right now. And the next thing I need to quickly announce is, as you know, my book is on all bookshelves around the country and overseas. It is so exciting to see this book being sent off to Switzerland, to Sweden, to Canada, to St. Lucia, to Germany, to Singapore. It really is amazing. And if you do purchase this book, make sure you forward the receipt to me so you get access to the exclusive content video that is not going on YouTube. It is where I share with you the private side behind myself and my life and doing the thousand dollar project. Now, also with the thousand dollar project, if you are reading the book or you are doing the thousand dollar project for yourself, because remember this book is about helping you create your own one thousand dollar project, please make sure that you take a picture of it, put it on Instagram and tag me in it. If you tag me in it, I will follow you back and also, and I also get to like help you with your thousand dollar projects. I can like add comments and ideas and help keep you motivated and inspired. But more importantly, we will be giving you a massive shout out every week in the in the sugar hit, which is what you get when you subscribe to the Sugar Mama website. We will be picking each week our favorite Instagrammer of who's doing the thousand dollar project or reading the thousand dollar project or doing some sort of financial challenge that we think is really impressive. So if you're trying to grow your Instagram account or you're a blogger or a vlogger and you want to try and get yourself out there and you're doing this, let us know by tagging me in your post. All right, this video is actually um, created by a subscriber all the way from New Zealand. His name is Bruce Thompson, or Thompson I should say, and he wrote me an email to say he was reading the Thousand Dollar Project, really enjoying it, and that he had a couple of like really quick, easy saving strategies that he thought were really useful and that might help you guys. And it's funny, I was reading this email, I'm like, yeah, I do a couple of these things myself, they really do work. So between him and I, we thought it'd be great to make this video for you guys. And it's how to create or how to hustle or rustle up some quick cash savings, which you can then use if you want to kickstart your own $1,000 project. And when it comes to creating savings, savings that you want to use for something really important, you need to make sure that you have a separate dedicated savings account. It can't be just your normal everyday account because then you will accidentally spend those savings both or even intentionally spend those savings. It won't get used to what you need it for. So always make sure that you have a separate designated area for those special savings. Whether it be a tin under your bed or whether it be a separate savings account, make sure it is away from your normal everyday spending money. Otherwise, I guarantee you it will evaporate. All right, once you have done that, you can then follow one or all of these five ideas. All right, Bruce's idea number one, and it's so easy. He simply takes the coins out of his pocket every day religiously and puts them into a money tin. It is amazing to see what and how quickly those coins really do add up. You take them to the bank and they weigh them and you watch the digits just roll and roll and rolling it higher and higher and higher. It's actually really exciting to do. It's so easy and so many people actually just discard the coins. They leave them lying around at their desk or in their car or on the hall table. Put those coins to good use. Get them out of your sight so you don't spend them or find things to spend them on like coffees and banana bread and put them in a money tin or into a separate savings account. You will not miss them and you'll also probably enjoy seeing your space a little less messy with coins. All right, idea number two is actually both Bruce's idea and mine. And what Bruce does is he rounds down his account balance every night and transfers some money into his separate savings account. So say for example, he has $958.17 in his everyday account. At the end of each day, he will transfer it down to the nearest $10. So he will transfer 
$8.17 into his separate savings account. Now this is something that I like to do as well because when I'm doing the thousand dollar project nothing can come out of my savings account or my salary. However for my own personal share portfolio this is a really nice way of being able to add money up on the side that I can then contribute to my own separate personal investment portfolio. And when you do this on a regular basis you'd be amazed as to how quickly those $8.17 and $5.65 really do add up, especially if you can do it every day. And again, because it's only small amounts, you don't need to round it down to $10, it could be rounded down by $1. This money does quickly add up over time. And being internet based is actually really quick and easy to do at the end of each day lying in bed. Idea number three is another combination of Bruce's idea and my own idea. And that is to clear your bank account the moment before you get paid. What I like to do is the day before I get paid or even like a few hours before I know my pay is going to go in, I will make sure that my bank account, as in my everyday bank account, is has an account balance of zero dollars. Even if there's only one dollar left, I'm okay with that. I will transfer that to my separate savings account, which is my separate savings account for investing. Now there's something really invigorating and refreshing when you start with an account balance of zero the moment your pay comes in because it means it's like a fresh leaf. You get a new injection of cash, you get to start again and really work within the confined boundaries of that salary deposit. And it means you can get keep better track of your budget and if there is a little bit of money left over yes I choose that to put that in my saving to invest account but you might want to put that extra money that's left over towards some of your other personal goals or even lifestyle goals such as saving up for a holiday or saving for some Christmas money the point is having these little quirky little financial habits really do add up over time and give us a really nice feeling of seeing our savings accounts grow idea number four and this is something I do. After the weekend and the week, I like to clear my wallet out. So I give myself a set budget during the week and during the weekend. Now if there's any cash or coins left over, I like to take them out of my wallet both after the weekend and after the week and put that into a separate account and I often put that into an envelope in my home. Now there's something really nice about that a little bit like the salary deposit of clearing your bank account because it means I've got fresh notes in my wallet and that is my strict allocated amount to spend during that amount of time. And it's also nice to feel that I have a little bit of cash at home for something that might come up out of the blue and I need to quickly have some cash available. It also gives me peace of mind knowing that if I have a bad week or something catches me by surprise during the week or the weekend, I can tap into that money without feeling too guilty because it's not coming out of my budget from other times. It's I'm making sure that I proactively separate those savings to protect me for other times that throw me and you know, come out of the blue that just happen in life. The fifth idea, which is something that I do myself, and that is I overpay my credit card. So say for example, I'm buying a dress for $320, and I decide I want to use my credit card to pay for that dress because I want to say the frequent flyer points. In the shop, often before I even swipe or tap my card, I will stand at the counter and transfer $320 from my savings account to my credit card. So there's never really ever any money owing on it. But sometimes what I like to do is do something even smarter. I will transfer more than the $320. I will transfer, for example, $330 or $340 or maybe even $350. That then means I have I actually never owe any money on my credit card, but there also is a bit of a, a buffer or a bit of a future savings slowly building on that credit card. So if I've been really good for a long period of time, my credit card is actually in credit and I can actually go out and buy myself something which is a nice reward that I've been slowly paying off over time and I still get to collect those frequent flyer points which also do quickly add up over time. Now if you have any other quirky cash saving ideas like putting money in money tins or collecting $5 notes or 
collecting $2 coins and doing something with them, please let me know by putting a comment in the comments box below. If you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do. And also, don't forget to tell your family and friends about what you are learning from being subscribed to my channel and seeing all the videos that I regularly publish. I love hearing from you guys and I also love hearing your video requests and your feedback. And if you haven't already, make sure you grab yourself or any of your family and friends a copy of The Thousand Dollar Project. This book has gone around the world. As I said, it's been sent off to so many different countries and the emails that I am receiving from you guys about what you are doing to do your own $1,000 project is incredibly inspiring. So much so that I'm actually going to link my email address in the video description box below so you can continue on sharing your stories with me but also have the opportunity to share your own stories on my YouTube channel by filming an interview with me. So if you are doing the thousand dollar project and you have a great story you think you want to share with people to help inspire other people, make sure you email me and get in contact with me. And of course, everyone grab yourself this book because this is going to be a financial movement around the world where people start making incredibly powerful shifts in the way that they use money, spend money and also manifest money. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, everyone, for your incredibly kind support in launching my first book. As I said, I'm already working on my second book, so stay tuned. I am not going anywhere anytime soon. So subscribe away, and everyone, have an amazing week. Don't forget your shout outs on Instagram at SugarMamaTV so I can follow you back and I can also give the opportunity for a massive shout out in our newsletter, The Sugar Hit. All right, that's it, everyone. Ciao for now.